Good evening. My name is Carolyn Black, and I'm the Director of Music at St. Paul's on the Hill in Ossining, New York. Our order for Compline tonight begins on page 127, but I thought I would sing just a phrase or two of Let Us Break Bread Together. Let us break bread together on our knees. Let us break bread together. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I'm going to read for you now Psalm number 4. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace at once. I fall asleep, for you only, Lord, make me dwell in safety. May the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the, shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, 
equip you with everything good that you may do his will working in you that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever thanks be to God be sober and watchful your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour resist him firm in your faith into your hands O Lord I commend my spirit for you have redeemed me O Lord O God of truth keep us O Lord as the apple of your eye hide us under the shadow of your wings Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy and now as Christ taught us to pray our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespassed against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil Lord hear our prayer and let our cry come to you and now let us pray for those who are in great need for Terry Donna Dennis Charles Phyllis Jonathan Deanna John Edmund Reva Patrice Judy John Peter James Sarah Ruth Eloise Mark Ginger and Devon and for our essential workers Holly Ray Elfreda Jan Alexis Todd Peter Dina Steve and Graham and for those who have died for John Tom Andrew and John I found a, a little booklet here that is called stuff that needs to be said by John Pavlovitz and I would just like to read a small part of it to you he says for my entire life I assumed something that perhaps I shouldn't have I thought that Christians were supposed to care about people not necessarily agree with them or believe that they believe believe what they believe or even like them but see them each as specific and unique image bearers of the divine to want and to work for shalom for them wholeness happiness peace safety and rest I grew up believing that one of the markers of a life that emulates Jesus was a heart capable of being broken at the distress of other human beings around you when they are hungry and hurting when they are homeless and afraid when they grieve and feel alone when they believe they are unloved and forgotten when tragedy befalls them and when justice assails them these things are supposed to move the needle within us if Jesus is present and in all my years of crisscrossing the Gospels in both study and reflection I never once found a Jesus who piled burdens on already burdened people or rejoice in their despair or toys tossed off insults and told them to go back to where they came from I never once saw Jesus brandishing a don't tread on me sign bravado in the face of dire need I don't see him lecturing the poor and the afflicted to pull yourself together up by your bootstraps I can't find him inviting war or celebrating bloodshed or reveling in the loss of life for any reason I don't encounter him trolling those who express sadness or worry or struggle 
I don't see Jesus flipping defiant middle finger contempt toward those who will come seeking him. I see no arrogance that inflates his worth at the expense of someone else. All of this is why I simply can't fathom Christians who are cruel. Yet I see so many of them today, right now. Continuing our compline, Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly home, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night, night as by day your people may glorify your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch, or who weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and Merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Bless us and keep us safe. Amen. Bless this house, O Lord. door that it may prove ever open to joy and love. 